welcome back to my channel. No, that like that. How you doing today? Mm -hmm. Good? Maybe? Yes? Later? Anyways, let's leave the craziness outside this video and welcome back to my channel. Tell me how awesome does this shirt look? I mean, right? Um, it was just a regular shirt. This were the sleeves. And we took them off and insert leather shirt. I mean, leather sleeve. Because we want to dress them up the shirt. Isn't that cool? I think they're so cute. Um, I make this one. I'm about to make another one. So I can show you how to do that. But you could totally dress this up. I'm wearing it with jeans right now. You can see. But if you wear this with like... Uh, like a like a mini skirt or like uh, probably like a skirt it's gonna look really nice um some really really skinny jeans and then some high heels you totally have like a dress up outfit a night outfit and like you know pop up makeup and you're ready to go and you can do this color blocking in so many colors because you just need to buy a fabric so if you buy a fabric that's like really contrast with whatever shirt you have it's gonna look so cool i think the bigger the contrast the better the look like the dramatic the the, the the difference between the color and it looks even better i did leather but you can i mean it's not really leather i did um this fake leather but you could do anything you have in mind you could do even lace if you have it will look really cool with lace um sheer fabric anything just try anything and uh, my hands are all over the place anyways yes um right now i'm gonna show you how to do in this white v-neck just like a regular v-neck but you're gonna see how what is that thing oh it's the bar and i thought it was dirty you're gonna see how it's just a regular shirt it's gonna come to life how it should be yes um anyways if you want to learn how to do this simple um um tutorial you are gonna well i did it with a sewing machine but you can definitely use like a um fabric glue it would still work for that but um you're just gonna need fabric a shirt and something to glue or sew so stay tuned and let's get started okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna open up the shirt and we're gonna cut off the sleeve you see here where i'm tracing that's where you're gonna cut um you can see here is more specifically exactly why you're gonna cut um, what I want you to do to get a perfectly finished look is take your scissors and cut really close to the edge. If you pay attention, you see I'm toting my scissor to the side, so I'm getting really in the edge and getting a really clean cut. And this would definitely make a difference once we insert the new sleeves. So here's what you're gonna have for now. This is uh, what you're gonna have like a like like a tank top. That's what it is. So um, take your tank top bomb, um, just fold it and put it to the side because we don't need it right now. So what we're going to take now is the sleeve that we cut out. We're going to take the fabric that we're going to use and we're going to fold it in half. So we have, you know, the front and the back once we cut. So I like to pin it down so fabric doesn't move around and it's easier to cut. But you can either do it without pinning or not. It's up to you. So I'm just pinning here the fabric and I'm going to start cutting out. You can do... Um, um, like you know like me length sleeves or long sleeve but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because you're gonna have to measure but I will put a link in the bottom on the info bar so you can check um, the girl that's a really good explanation on how to measure sleeves so if you want to do that you can check the link for that so here you see I'm just cutting around it and this is what it's gonna look like once you cut it's just like a big triangle so we're gonna sew on size and uh, um, I prefer to sew because it's just easier to me and it's faster rather than waiting for the fabric glue to dry I would suggest you if you never try to sew to try it because you're gonna be surprised how easy it is it's not how scary as it sounds so the next step that we're gonna do once we sew um, the side of the sleeves is take your shirt and turn it inside out. And once you turn the shirt inside out, we're gonna take the sleeves and turn it right side out. So shirt bad side out and sleeves good side out. So right side out for sleeves and shirt inside out. And uh, you see the um, curved side of the sleeve. That's what we're gonna touch to the sleeve. 
So we're gonna put right into the hole and then hold the curved side to the sleeve, which is what's gonna connect to the shirt. So um, what I like you to pay attention is to put the seam up the sleeve, really matching the, the seams of the shirt. So it looks like a continuous line from shoulder to sleeve. And that's also gonna help with a professional look because you don't wanna have like a cricket line or anything like that. So I like to place a pin on the front seam and the back seam and just so you know it doesn't move around and have a specific you know spot and then i also like to place a pin one in the front and one on the back just you know to secure the fabric and it doesn't move around it will help a lot because this since this is like circle circumference it's hotter than if it was if it was a straight line definitely so the pins are going to help you with that so that's what i'm doing now and i'm gonna go ahead and sew around and just you know place um, um you know like place the fabric glue or whatever you're gonna use at this point isn't this fabric so fancy i like it um i think it's gonna look you know like it's gonna be such a contrast with the white that's why i didn't want to do black because it was gonna be black and white um really you know like i wanted something unexpected so the last step we're gonna do is just um do the seam on the end and you're done that's it that was the last step final result I think it came out so beautiful it was just a plain white t-shirt and look how cool it turned out like this is totally like you know like a dressy shirt now I love this fabric because like, this is just like a snake print fabric with a lot of shit like a lot of shiny things in it it's like really shiny with light so it's gonna look so cool I think it's so easy and uh, it looks really nice for how it is it is I'm gonna show you how it looks on so I'm back so do you agree with me you agree that it looks so nice I love it I am so happy <laughs> well I hope you guys give it a try and let me know if you use a different fabric and show me pictures you can just um, tag me on Instagram or put it on my Facebook or you can find all the links down downstairs down below um just get a try to see how it turns out let me know what else you want to see and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this video if you did and uh, i will see you next time in the next video soon i'm trying to do two videos a week so you have one more coming up this week so let's see what i come up with um i will let you go now and uh, i hope you have a beautiful day or night or whatever time you're watching this video thank you guys for supporting this channel and i will see you in the next video bye